As soon as it starts to get a little cool outside, I start thinking baked squash. I love winter squash this time of year. And one of the things I do love about it is that it's so easy to prepare and it doesn't take a lot of time to get it going. The hardest part really is cutting the squash and getting it ready to stick into the oven. So I've done that ahead of time. I've got a, a red kabocha squash today, which is a Japanese squash that you can find in the grocery stores. I like it because it's one of the sweeter varieties. So I've cut it into four wedges, and then I'm going to brush all the cut sides with some olive oil to seal it up a little bit. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. A lot of people think you need to have a real high temperature when you roast squash, but actually 350 does the trick. And I'm going to season it with just a little bit of salt and pepper. And I like to use the coarse kosher salt for my baked squash. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it a little bit and a little bit of pepper, of course and then I'll pop it into the oven. But before I do, I'm going to turn these cut side down. So I'm just going to flip them over and I'm going to bake them 20 minutes like this. And then I'll take them out of the oven, flip them so that they're flesh side up and bake them for another 20 minutes. I've put two tablespoons of butter. You could also use coconut oil or a dairy-free butter into a little sauce pot and I'm going to add one tablespoon of brown sugar. Oh, that's the timer for my squash. And then two tablespoons of pure maple syrup. I'm going to put this over medium heat, probably medium low heat, and just stir it, heat it up until the brown sugar melts. So these sweet little squash babies have been in the oven for 40 minutes and I've got my glaze, two tablespoons of butter, brown sugar, and maple syrup. And you can see there's no trace of the brown sugar. The brown sugar has melted. And so you can brush this. I like to just fill up that little middle a little bit with this glaze and then brush all of the edges, and then it will go back into the oven just like this for just 10 minutes. Enjoy squash. The winter squash is delicious right now. I'm Sue Doden sharing good food for good life, 365.